In today's video, we take a look at a man who was absolutely done with this woman and this man here, who refuses to marry his girlfriend because of her finances. But before we jump in, please make sure to subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. Is like, oh, you know, I just want some of the higher vocabulary. And then you said day to day speak. Okay, so that was funny. <laughs> he was so done with her ass, but for some reason, she couldn't pick up on that fact. Because what I meant to say was, I don't like how you speak on your day to day. So I ended up flip flopping it, which is fine. Everyone makes mistakes, but <laughs> everyone was coming at me so hard. They were like, really? How are you going to say that? But then say this. And I was like, no, you have a point. Like, yeah. you really have a point. <laughs> well, you know, since you guys didn't work out, are you guys now dating other people? Like, how is that going for you? Do you want to go first? Or? I'm single. Okay. Yeah. yeah but are you open? Yeah. That's what open. they're asking. Are you single and open or are you just single well, and open? Yeah. Okay. Open or you just well, single? Well, 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 it's not the same thing. We go over here. I'll answer it my way. Uh, yeah, of course, I'm open to date. Okay. Okay. Cool. What about for you, Rizoma? Um, I'm single, and right now, so a part of me feels like maybe I shouldn't date for a while. But at the same time, if the right person comes along, I'm not gonna miss out on that because I really would like, you know, someone. But you know, it's definitely not like on my bucket list or like to do this or. The look on his face says it all. And for the woman talking in this clip, sometimes you should just look around the room and be smart enough to read it. Cause just like her, the women in this clip are also not very smart. Or should I say, they are a bit too entitled to say the least. Well he's saying to keep it pure, like as long as you don't have a contract saying that if I, if one of us screws this up, we get something out of it, or I can tank you, then you know at least your love is genuine because That's I not. can leave whenever I want, right? Yeah, it's almost see, like a go. business But you can get a contract to avoid that, it's called a prenup. But, but if you get a contract to set so it up, so even, even so if you're married too. with somebody, so then what would and then you the leave, if the contract says you leave with what you came with. So what was the benefit of us getting married? Well, it was a benefit in the sense that you're making a, a commitment to this person and you decide to go to the extreme of signing documents and putting money into it and having this whole experience and having a family and building and so on and so forth that you can protect yourself by making that. It's just like any type of investment. Everything set aside. There is only one question that really matters. Is that investment really worth it? Do women see men like a partner with whom they want to spend their life? Or are men just an easy retirement plan for them? Cause looking at this clip, one would say it's the latter. You, you a demon, you a devil. You this is one of the most disturbing piece of news any man can hear, and as seen in this clip, women like her go around sleeping with a bunch shown in this clip here. Yeah, but if you got like two, three, then no. You wouldn't like that's a big straight right off. No, no, no. I could sleep with you and shit, but we're not gonna get into a whole relationship if you got two, three kids. Why? It's not my responsibility. Um. But you'd accept one? Yeah, I'd accept one, but then two, three, and what about when I have, when I want to have mine with you, it's like... Then you have more then? No. Nah. No? no. It's, it's just a no-go, you just won't consider nah, it? No, I don't want to put, be put in that position where I've got to treat my kid better than certain. But you wouldn't, because if you was going to be with someone who had kids, surely but you I would treat their children the same. Obviously, I'll treat their children the same, but my kid's obviously got to come first, because it's my kid. No, nah, I'm not doing that, so... I'm out of the question then. But it's you're her family now. You're blended. Yeah, hence why I wouldn't get family. put in that position because I wouldn't want to. But it'd be the same if she had one child. Nah, I'll treat them both the same. That's <laughs> easy. You've it's only easy. got a love for two kids. It's easy, just like my kid and one kid, not her, two, three kids, and then my kid. Lies. I think people have their past. They've lived their lives, but I won't judge someone based on how many children they had. I am not here to judge. No, I don't judge either. But yeah. It's just not a preference for you. Not for me. Okay. Sad, but here's a couple more reasons why I can't settle. I don't get hugs consistently. I don't hear my name being said. And there's no fault. It's just circumstance. But now I'm in a position where I feel like I sometimes can't picture a love that meets all of your needs. Or most of them. I don't know. I just wish I could like make myself like not want it anymore, you know? Because <laughs> while I know it's natural to want it, it's painful and I'm tired and it's just undeniable and I just can't I can't front but it you know you try to pretend like you don't want love or whatever but every so often something ugh. guys I think that I independent womaned it too hard and now I'm 36 uh, 
I live in a house that I own with a great career, amazing friends and family, an adorable cat, and I may very well be alone forever because I don't want anyone to sleep in my bed. This bed. This one right here. Uh, so, you know, just a word to the wise for all those 28 to 32 year olds who are thinking, yeah, I'm an independent woman after a long relationship. I can do anything. You can. But just know what you're getting yourself 